Okay, there's a setting up. Okay, with we're sorted. So today I am gonna be dyeing a bunch of stuff. Well not dyeing, I'm gonna dye clothes. <laughs> um dyeing some items that um have either gotten a bit discoloured, like this is a bit discoloured, it's not pure, and it looks pure white on the camera but it's not, um, I think I've washed it with something and it's gone slightly blotchy in areas, like a kind of pinkish, but only in places, so I'm going to dye over it, or attempt to, with coffee and tea. Um, so there's this item, which is a skirt. It's actually quite a nice skirt, it's very flowy and airy, but I just don't wear it because it's sort of not quite white, but it's not off-white either. So I'm hoping that it'll turn a pale brown or an off-white kind of colour. Um, I'm going to maybe dye this, which is, these are some like dungaree overall things and they're really like wide leg. Um, they used to be a lot brighter, they were like a sort of a lime greenish yellowish kind of colour and they still kind of are but they're a lot more faded so I'm hoping that dyeing them will brighten them up a bit because I don't like how they've faded out the colour that they faded to it's very kind of washed out and it like if you hold it against my skin it doesn't go well with my skin tone so that's that and then there's also this which is my LARP shirt that I used um, most um, when I started LARPing and you can tell because um, like this is so discolored from my um, from my armor again you can't tell there we go focus focus yeah so um, it's very discolored this has been washed I'm not I'm not dirty honest it's um it's just um from the leather it like obviously the leather has some kind of a dye in it and it's transferred onto the sleeves so I'm hoping that because I really do like this um blouse I love how it has um this cool detailing in the front it's like it's like this I don't know what that's called I should probably know I can't remember it's not pleating it's what is that like shirring I guess but it's not stretchy like shirring normally is um, I don't know um, it has a name I'm sure it's kind of like a decorative something <laughs> um, it's not embroidery it's something else it's, um, Anyway, and I also I'm thinking I might dye this, which it has like this splatter at the bottom because um, I you can't see again. <laughs> Focus on the thing, not on my face. There we go. <laughs> it's um I dropped a bottle of glue, um like um Prosaid glue for my ears. I dropped it on this, and it's um. It just doesn't come off and it's actually kind of sticky so I need to figure out a way of making it unsticky or trimming it I guess but um I also I already have kind of um, a similar under layer that's a similar color so I'm hoping that dyeing it will be interesting and, and also the sleeves are like a different color to the, the like the main body of the thing so um, I think it would be interesting to see how it dyes up. Um, so there's those are all the like more plainer coloured things. Oh, on this one as well, sorry. Um, this I bought and I like it, but I don't like the colour. It's like off-white, but it's not a nice off-white. So, um, And I like the... it has some pretty lace. So I'm going to try this as well. But I don't know if any of this is... Um, I, I don't know if all of these are going to dye properly because I don't know what the 
content of the fibers is like this might be synthetic let's have a look we've got tell me what you are viscose i don't know if viscose dies very well it's an experiment we're gonna we're gonna find out <laughs> um and then i also have this dress which I like, but I don't really wear it. Um, and it's still not, um, I removed the back lacing because I didn't like it, it was like a shoelace. So I need to make a new lacing. I've done two laces for the sides, one like this and one like this, so they kind of match. Um, but I need one for the back and I'm probably not gonna do finger loop braiding like I've done with these because it takes eons and I, um, I I don't want to put that much effort into it. I've already put enough effort into the ones on the front. So I'm going to just probably plait something and um, go from there. Oh, is that a squirrel? Oh, <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I'm going to make a lacing for the back at some stage but I also thought it might be cool to dye like just the bottom of the dress and see like how a dip dye kind of effect would look so it looks like I've been walking through the mud um, without having to actually walk through mud and also then it the it should stay that colour <laughs> even if I dye it, um, dye it? even if I wash it um, and then the other thing is this blouse, which I've never worn anywhere, and I ordered it online, and I was like, hmm, I don't actually like the colour. You can't really see on the on the camera, but um, it's a lot brighter and more kind of, um, I don't know, it, I, it just doesn't look like the right shade of, of green that I wanted, so I'm going to dye that as well and see what it looks like. So I've got all of these <laughs> there's quite a few things that I need to try and um, and die see if I can make it work um, and my um, ingredients that I'm using is tea and coffee and if I don't think it's working I do actually have some food coloring in the house um, which I could throw on a couple of things but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that <laughs> I'll probably just stick to tea and coffee um, and I just bought some like really cheap tea and coffee because no one's going to drink it so it doesn't matter if it tastes bad so um, yeah so I'm going to go and get that and start boiling the kettle and pouring water into the big tub I've got like a I've got a tub here I might just put it on this chair that might make it easier to show what I'm doing yeah so I'm gonna put hot water in here and start boiling not boiling words but pouring mixing up the tea and the coffee um, and going from there I think I'll do start with tea first so I think tea is gonna be less strong of a color and then try putting some of the lighter coloured things in with the tea to see how dark it gets um, and then some of the darker things I'll put the coffee in as well and we'll go from there and if I need to put the coffee in from the start I'll do that but water that's what we need <laughs> so I'll be to and from the room because the kettle is in here Um, so essentially I'm just going to start pouring in boiling water and I'm going to put tea bags in there so I'm like brew essentially brewing a really big cup of tea 
Oh yeah. Let's see. And I might need a big spoon or something to stir this. Uh, this will do. Wooden spoon. I've just, there's actually two packages in this, but I'm going to just put one in for now and see how we go. It's already starting to look nice and dark. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I'm going to go and get some more water because there's nowhere near enough water in there for anything to, to happen. So just balance that there. Go and get some more water. This is going to be a long process, I feel. <laughs> okay, so we're waiting for that kettle to boil as well. And um, I'll just uh, do some hydration, very important. So, uh, so we're just uh, stirring the tea bags in. They're actually going a really nice colour, the water. It's like, oh, there's a kitty. Oh, hi. Hi, kitty. Oh, I want to say hello to it, but I think it might run away scared. I'm going to say hello to this cat. No, don't run away. Kitty. Hmm. I scared it. <laughs> the kitty ran away. Wow, so this is actually going kind of like more of a reddish kind of a colour than I would have expected. It's a very red tea. So it'll be interesting how this turns out. We might not even need the coffee at this rate. We'll see. We'll see how it goes when I uh, pour more water into it. So, I feel like this part of the process is probably not very interesting because I'm just kind of waiting for the kettle to boil, but <laughs> um, it's accurate to uh, how long it takes. So... You can see my lovely fridge in the background. <laughs> um, I probably should put a apron on. <laughs> Knowing my life, I'll probably end up pouring this all down my front, so. Apron time. had quite a uh, um, what's the word quite a productive day today uh, so I uh, went shopping I got some stuff um, went to the charity shops um, and I what else did I do um Um, yeah, so I went to the charity shops, bought some stuff, uh, prepared, got got my uh, ingredients for this uh, 
experiment. I'm just going to get the water. That is finished. Making the biggest cup of tea ever. I don't know how much I should put in that's boiling. Maybe I should put some boiling and some not boiling. Not sure. Um, but yeah, I went and got my coffee and my tea. Um, had a look around town. Stopped for a pasty at uh, Ye Olde Greg's. <laughs> and uh, which I haven't been to Greg's for ages. I think after after working there and uh, quitting, I kind of had uh, PTSD, so I haven't been for ages. But um, I was hungry, and it was there, and there wasn't really much else to choose from. So pasty it was. <laughs> uh, so... I feel like this is going to take a really long time to fill up. Not sure. Look, this, we've done, what was that, two now? And that's, that's as full as it is. Maybe I can put some um, just cold water in. Oh, oh no, I dropped my spoon. Ah, oh, that's hot. Okay. Um, disaster, disaster. What now? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I dropped my spoon. It's gone in. I'll have to just fish it out with a spatula or something. Just don't drop the spatula in as well. There we go. Okay. Let's just. I'll, I'll leave those there. Um, just one moment. <laughs> so I need to before I do anything else I probably should put my chat on the phone so that I can should anyone chat on the off chance it's it's there da, 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 and we will put Or maybe actually it might be easier to do. Ah. <sighs> Again, I apologise if this is boring, but um, gotta wait for the kettle. Unfortunately, I can't make it go faster. Um, I wish that were the case. That would be a really boring superpower, but it would actually be quite useful because I drink a lot of tea. So, so there's that. <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. I don't think I can look at my uh, all of my chats from Restream. Never mind. Uh, hmm. Oh, that was the kettle. I 
apologise if anybody needs to use the bathroom. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, I think I'm going to do one more um boiling and then the rest i think i'll do cold water because it's already brewed up quite nicely so i don't think it really needs to be completely boiling the whole way through yeah i don't know why i have these <laughs> it's just very simple right um okay so I'm going to do that. Mm. Yeah, not much has happened recently that I can update on. Uh, my mum bought me some plants which I'm really hoping will not die in my garden because um, my garden is full of horsetail which I don't know if any of the people watching will know what horsetail is but it's basically um when the bombs hit and the world is destroyed all that will be left is horsetail and cockroaches that's what's what's gonna exist and japanese knotweed that's another plant but which is even worse than horsetail but horsetail is basically so bad that if you have it in your garden it reduces your um average like the worth of your house <laughs> like it's that bad nobody wants it it's hard to get rid of and yeah basically um we've been doing loads to try and get rid of it and it just comes back basically you can kill the stuff and then um it can just have like this tiny piece left in the ground and it will grow back from that and it'll be everywhere again um it's horrible <laughs> so um hopefully hopefully my garden doesn't kill the flower the four plants that my mum brought me um i've kind of put them away from the knotweed the not it's not knotweed it's um from the horsetail put them onto my patio there's no no horsetail on the patio thankfully um but i'm still worried <laughs> they're gonna die <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, this horsetail stuff, it just gets everywhere and then it basically suffocates everything else around it and takes all the nutrients out of the soil. So it's just generally not a good thing to have. This is looking really dark, actually. I might not even need the, the coffee. I did put like, how many tea bags? 40 tea bags. I put 40 tea bags in this. This is going to be one strong cup of tea. Um, yeah. <laughs> it smells really nice, actually. <laughs> but yeah, don't if if um, if you're uh, watching this and you're thinking, what a waste of good tea. Don't worry, it's not good tea. It's very cheap tea. I wouldn't waste good tea on this. Um, because it's not going to get drunk, obviously. Um, yeah. Oh, I think that's nearly boiled. It'll do, I think. Right. So, I'm not going to take this to the sink and go directly from the tap because I will drop it on myself and it is boiling. I'm just going to bring the kettle to and from but with cold water from now on because I don't think I need any more hot water <sighs> so making several trips for this. <laughs> I 
I don't know if I should probably take all of the tea bags out once it's full. That probably will be a good idea. Just fish them all out. I feel this will take a long time. A stir. That might be enough liquid. Just going to stir it and let it brew a bit more. It actually has a really nice colour to it. Um, let's see. I think I will fish out the uh, the tea bags though. So this is going to go back where it lives. I'm fishing for tea bags. Um, it'll make sense if you come around later. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing a tea dye. Ah. This, but I don't want the bags to be left in, so. <laughs> now, it now it makes sense. <laughs> fishing for tea bags? He thought I'd cracked. She's gone balmy. Now it makes sense. So, take out all of these and then is there any more? Yes. Oh, there was one more. Dropped it back in. Oh. I think that's all of them. <laughs> somewhat uh, right so I'll sort those out in a moment so I guess first we're going to try the lighter items so I'm going to try this one this one and this one and then we'll go from there so this one I want the whole thing to die so I'm going to go Oop. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like a witch. A witch's brew. Oh, it's already so dark. It's already so dark. Look. But I was gonna hug. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not me. That's my D and D character. <laughs> We're not the same. <laughs> We're the same thing. Okay, this is actually looking pretty good, but I'm going to leave it in a bit longer. And then the skirt. Make it like 
I, I tried to dye it uh, so it would lo look like a uh, uh, skin. Off white. No, not skin. <laughs> yeah. You, Off white you, color. Yeah, you remember that uh, dye that uh, Jacob was doing? Yeah. For the banners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's a similar technique. But uh, different results. Yeah. Yeah. I just want it to be like off white colour or like light brown even. Yeah. Change of colour. Let's see how it goes. That's my flatmate by the way, or housemate, because we live in a house, not a flat. Um and this top is also gonna go in. We'll see if it actually dies. I'm not sure if it will because I don't really know anything about this fabric. That seems to be soaking up the colour. So that's good. This is like the colour that it's going. <laughs> kind of kind of yellowish actually. Um if I decide that I don't like this colour, I will probably do another dye bath after this one. Um maybe with coffee as well um, so it just depends on how how it looks when it's done and to keep poking it because like it um, kind of float wants to float above the surface because it gets like air pockets so you don't want it to die inconsistently kind of poking at it <laughs> fascinating um so i've put those ones in um i've probably got enough room to put more stuff in maybe one more item um so maybe i'll do this this thing We'll see how this goes because this is a slightly different colour to the other things. So, um, let's see. Maybe I'll just do the bottom of it. So that it has like a two tone effect. That could be cool. Might actually do that with a couple of things and then just hang the top part over the side. I'll see how it looks and um, if I don't like it I can always do more dyeing over the top. This one as well, I wanted to dye the whole thing because I really don't like the colour. So that's just going to go completely in. This one doesn't seem to be soaking up the, uh, the liquid as much. So who knows if this one's going to work. It's very cheap fabric so um, it might be like quite synthetic-y, we'll see. It may end up only dyeing the lace. Right, so 
we go. I've submerged it as much as I possibly can. So now that is going to have to wait and stay in there for a while to soak up all this uh, tea goodness. And um, yeah, once it's all soaked in, I'll have to pull them out and um, rinse them out. I'll probably take, um, take them upstairs and rinse them out in the shower. And then I'll put them in the washing machine. And hopefully, hopefully it won't all just wash out. Hopefully it will stay. Um, it should do. I think if I rinse them out with cold water, it will, um, um, you know, fasten the dye into the fabric. Yeah, I think this is going to look cool with the different tone. So we'll, um, we'll leave it in there for a while and see how it goes. Um, I might just put this bucket on the floor though, just so if it does tip over, it's not going to tip on to somebody. Um, just because of safety, because um, it, it, it's not boiling now, but it is still hot water, so safety first, guys. Um, incidentally, if you're a child and you're trying to dye your clothes with tea, please get an adult. Um, also, if you're an idiot like me, please get an adult. I don't, I, I, I didn't do that because um, I was naughty, but uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's always good to have at least somebody else there when you've got when you're doing something possibly could be dangerous just in case um you know you need to get help from somebody first aid or whatever um but uh i i'm living on the edge as they say uh whoever they are right i'm gonna put this on the floor carefully and hopefully it's not going to tip over or anything. Right, I'll just put my poking sticks in there. Right. So that's basically the process. Um, if it's not dyed enough, I'll be using some coffee to try and get it even more dyed. Um, but that's basically it. Um, you just have to wait and then rinse it out in the shower when it's done um and it and being done could be anywhere from like instantly to <laughs> like five hours later <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe not five hours maybe like an hour or something so i'll probably leave it for an hour and um see how it goes um yeah this is a really short live. If I if I'm just doing this, I didn't I didn't realize it would it, it would get finished so quickly. Um, I guess I could lean this one in on the edge like the other one. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave these two items for afterwards. So I'll put those two items just there for when we're done. But yeah, look, <laughs> I used a sieve to fish all the the tea bags. Just using my noggin. <laughs> um, so hydration important. Also, because this uh, water is nice and warm, and it was on this chair, the, it feels like I'm on a heated seat. Like it feels like a warm. I feel I feel warmth under my rear end, which normally would be. Uh, <laughs> worrying to feel <laughs> you'd be like mm, why is it warm <laughs> um yeah so oh i can show you actually what things i got when i went shopping today that's a thing i can do right
so I was kind of trying to look for a specific aesthetic but it didn't really work out I just ended up going oh I like this um so uh I went to charity shops because um I like making sure that things don't end up in landfill but I also went to um get some shoes brand new because my feet don't fit in shoes generally and it's easier to fit shoes from shops that like I know are gonna fit me if that makes sense um so I got these from a charity shop they're not silver apparently but they are oh it says sterling silver she said it wasn't silver but <laughs> apparently it is and this one is a Pisces one and it's got the little Pisces symbol and I got this little charm as well which I don't know what this is but it says guaranteed tableware so maybe it came actually with some tableware as like a this is real <laughs> kind of thing but it looks like they're like tiny little cutleries how cute I don't think this is silver might be silver I don't know and they're like like a little fork and a little spoon and a little knife <laughs> I thought they were cute anyway I like I like I like tiny things tiny things are fun yeah it's cute um so I got those <laughs> and I got this bag which um I was just like that looks like it would hold a fuck ton of stuff um like I could probably put an entire cat in here if I wanted to um yeah <laughs> And um, I, I got this fairly early on, so I started just putting all of my shopping in there because um, convenient. Um, yeah. Uh, but I noticed, like, because I, I didn't inspect this very much before I bought it, I just noticed that, like, for some reason, these, like, clippy things just a were attached to this. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. I think there's supposed to be something else that it's meant to be attached to. I don't think it's supposed to be attached to these. Um, maybe it is, and it's just a weird way to design it, but um, it doesn't seem right to me. Um, so it actually comes with this as well, the strap, which I prefer it with this strap, I think. Um, although I do like a crossbody thing. Maybe this doesn't actually go with this and somebody just put it with this no it's the same kind of leather so it should be with this I don't know it's confusing to me unless you're supposed to have it all the time with this one on like like so and like so and then you put the other ones you attach the other ones as well like onto how does this go eh. like this maybe oh yeah that looks like it makes more sense yeah so like onto this bit there we go but yeah like i could probably it's got like a pocket on each side it's got one on the front and the back and then there's like a big pocket in here and like an inside zip pocket and then like some other little sections i like things with pockets and i like things with big space inside so i'll probably use this for work because it looks kind of i don't know it looks worky and i smack myself in the face with it um i should probably not put that where the big vat of tea is that would make sense <laughs> um and i actually got two bags because um i have a problem <laughs> but like that's more of a real real life kind of bag and um i saw this bag and i was like it's beautiful 
it's like it looks like a book kind of um it's really pretty it's like it's like this inside and it smells like <clears throat> unpleasant to be honest it's, <laughs> it smells like leather <laughs> um and it's got like these unusual little toggle things that are like made of leather you just kind of pull them tight um, and it's like a crossbody one but I thought I could use this for LARP um, either as a bag or I could um, do what I did with um, my armor for Astra which is literally made out of um, similar bag to this um, I just like took the front and the back and I turn them into basically shoulder armor. I could do the same thing for this. I, I could make cassettes out of them. Um, but the only problem with that is that I'd only get one with this lovely um, panel that's like all engraved and stuff. Um, and I do kind of like it as just as, as a bag. So maybe I won't make tassets out of it. We'll see. Um, let's, let's have another look inside. We'll, we'll, we'll look inside and see how much space there is. There's like a reasonable amount of space in there. I could use this for scrolls actually. Like have rolled up scrolls in each section and use it for Astra, my priest character. Um, don't know. Might do, might not do. Um, but it is a very, very pretty bag, and I only got, I only got it for ten pounds, which I think is a steal because it's really nice and it's real leather, and it's quite sturdy. So that was, that was a good find. Um, I got, um, like a underwear skirt <laughs> it's more like a cover-up thing for the beach or something not that i'm going to the beach but whatever and another skirt which is like it, it reminded me of sally from nightmare before christmas so it's like that's mine <laughs> so um i could do like a um like a thing of sally with this <laughs> Although I don't know if if Nightmare Before Christmas actually is Disney, I can't remember. Maybe it's not, but um, you know, a fandom bounding like a cosplay, but not a cosplay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oops, I dropped something. Um, I also got from a charity shop patterns. <laughs> Um, so I got, I got some shirt ones, I got this dress, they had loads of patterns and I was like, mm, I don't, I don't really want to buy all of them, but I kind of do want to buy all of them, but, um, I was very strict with myself and I limited myself to six. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> this one I was thinking could, um, I could use, um, this one for something for like a, a costume like a costume jacket um maybe i don't know um and this one just looked like some nice blouses and stuff um this one is like kind of vintagey looking um like the d the design it doesn't maybe look with the pictures that are on there but like um yeah like this this dress looks kind of I don't know if you can even see that um and I just kind of like the cut and that I thought this was um a jumpsuit but it's not it's actually separate um I kind of looked on the back and I was like oh it's actually it's actually not it's separate but Never mind. 
um, I can deal with it. Funic for um, LARP, like this one. Um, it's like a tunic, but then it has these ties, so you can make it a little bit more pulled in at the waist. So it'd be like a good, I don't know, like a villager or something. So I've got those. Um, so I can do some more sewing. Um, I got myself a new mask, which I, I didn't even open, um, but I might try it on. See if it's actually big enough for my humongous face, because I have a really big face apparently, according to most of these things. Oh, it's a. I'm not sure I like the. I'm not sure if I like the uh, the material that's on the inside of this. Feels kind of weird. I don't know if I want that touching my skin. We'll see. Mm. Oh. It's got like... Oh, you can make it tighter or bigger. That's interesting. So, yeah, I liked the flowers though. Oh, I can tell this is going to suck on the bus though. Because like, the way they've made this is really weird. I guess they made it so you can put an extra filter inside or something. Because like, there's like this um, open space here. So it feels almost like the, the lining of the mask is a different size <laughs> to the outside. So it kind of feels like it's moving around against your face. That is very weird feeling. I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> um, too late now. I've worn it. I can't put. I can't send it back, can I? <laughs> um, oh well. Um, so yeah, I got this as well from the charity shop. I thought it could be a good uh, holy symbol for a Vlaborian. and um, if you're. A, a LARPer who LARPs in the UK, we have this LARP called uh, Falls and Heroes and Vlaybor is one of the gods in that game. She is a goddess of healing and life and um, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And, and um, all the Vlaborians are very pacifist. They're like, oh no, don't hurt them. Um, so yeah, I probably will never play a Vlaborian. <laughs> I was thinking about it for a while, but um, maybe no. <laughs> um, because I like to hit people with sticks. <laughs> yeah, so this will be for monstering. So um, if you have any NPCs, if I have a particularly fancy Vlaborian, I'll have them wear this. Um, yeah. Uh, what else did I get? I don't treat myself all that often, but um, yeah, I I I, uh, I treated myself today. I got myself this thing. It's like a nice um, <laughs> it's like a um. What do you call it? Dressing gown type thing? But not a dressing gown because it's like, it only comes to, it doesn't cover everything, you know? It's like, it's like a, a lingerie shirt type thing. And um, yes, I like those because I, I would even, to be honest, wear this as just a cardigan, <laughs> even though it's just, um, it's like lingerie essentially um and i got myself a new skirt which i really like the i really like the uh the cut of it it's like flouncy um i'm not so sure about the color so <laughs> again this may be something that ends up going in the dye bin um because <laughs> it's a little bit too much of an orangey kind of pink and yeah, like, I'm not sure if it goes with my skin tone very well. Mm, maybe, I don't know. I'd have to try it on as is first, I guess. 
with something, probably a white shirt. Um, yeah, that's basically all of the things that I bought today. Um, yeah, this uh, dye bath, whatever it's called, has been soaking in there for a little while now. I don't know if it will have soaked up sufficiently that I can continue and, um, you know, drain them off and stuff. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to put all this uh, new stuff away. And um, I, with this, oh, and I got a new hat, which I didn't show you, but um, it's hanging up in the vestibule so I um so you don't get to see the hat but it's it's just it's just a summer hat it's like a straw hat thing um yeah <laughs> I am in a very weird mood today I don't know why I'm so hyperactive but like I I really am <laughs> yeah so uh I don't know um how long I should leave that in there whether I should leave it in for longer or whether I should drain it and see how how um how dark the thing has gone. Not sure. Um mm. Mm. Okie dokie. Uh, so, we are gonna, what are we gonna do? We're gonna move all this stuff out of the way for a start. So, this is gonna go in there, and this is gonna go away. <laughs> into a door frame ow oh, it's gotten a bit dark in here i think it's gonna rain again um so what to do how how am i gonna drain this now i don't really want to pour it away because i want to see if i can put those other items in afterwards and dye them as well maybe if i throw these away and i one by one put the item in here and then take it up and rinse it. I might do that. So, yeah. I, I, I somehow feel that this is less interesting than I thought it would be. What? <laughs> it's not moldy. <laughs> Why do you think it's moldy? <laughs> Why do you think it's moldy? Well, because it was uh, sitting there for quite some time, it wasn't no. a tea bags. Ah, ah. It was a tea bags. <laughs> oh, you think these? Yeah. Oh, there they are. They must fail, though. Sure. Yeah. Right. So now. We're gonna, oh, I'm gonna take this one out first, I think. Ah. <laughs> Sneaking through. You do realize you crouched into frame, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How hot is it? It's not too hot, actually. So I can just squeeze some of this out. I don't want to get drips on the uh, on the computer. Uh. <sighs> <There you go. laughs> Let's just do it over here. Okay. 
okay this is actually coming up nice color i don't know if this is how it will be when it's um you know rinsed out but let's see yep. that was quick did you forget something no oh. i thought you went out to smoke So after squeezing, that's the colour that we have of that, but I don't know, that could just be because it's wet, we don't know, oh I didn't realise this was so badly damaged, the hem on that side was a bit... Uh, or is that the hem or is oh no i think that's the crotch i'm gonna have to re re-sew the crotch up look i think nobody's ever noticed because these are so baggy that they look like a skirt anyway i'm just gonna rip that bit off for a start yeah so i'll have to re-sew along this uh ripped crotch seam <laughs> so that's how that looks interesting interesting i think this one might need another another go in the dye bath um let's see maybe we'll dye the whole lot and then do another bath with just coffee at the ends because i really don't like this color at the top <laughs> Yeah, we'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna pour this in there. So I'm gonna try it. It's putting the whole lot in. So I think I'm going to need to wait longer than I thought. Um, well, I'm going to leave this um, here for now. And next time I'm on, I'll show you all the results. Um, but essentially the process is put your tea bags and or your coffee um, into a big bucket. Pour in your boiling water, the same as you make in your coffee or your tea um obviously use instant because if you're just pouring in the <laughs> in the beans it's not it's not gonna work like that um and also use instant because why would you waste good coffee <laughs> i mean i don't even like coffee and i wouldn't waste a co waste a uh, proper coffee like that um but yeah you pour it into that um you put your clothing items into the vat um, and you wait. It's fairly simple, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave it there and love you and leave you. Uh, but um, thanks for watching my 